Well, when you do get to the point where you're in the holiday <laughs> spirit, <laughs> why spend a lot of money on Christmas decorations when you can just do it yourself? Okay, tomorrow the ladies can head to Home Depot for a really fun do-it-herself session. And, of course, we've got the right person doing this. She's got her Christmas shopping done. <laughs> She's got the tree up. Tess is at Home Depot. She's going to get even more festive but in Glendale. But does she have her own drill? Oh, good question. Of course I do, Scott, and okay. I know how to use it. What Whoa. size drill bit do you need? I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> and um, no drill bits needed in this, really. You probably can use it, though. We're going to show you how in just a second, but look at how cool this stocking holder display boxes. So many of us don't have chimneys, right, or fireplaces in, here in Arizona, but this is perfect to put wherever so that you can hang those stockings. So let's see how to make it. Debbie Hernandez, Home Depot Debbie is here because this is tomorrow's focus on the Do It Herself workshop. It's held every single month, every single Home Depot across the country. It's true, it's 6.30. And it's a workshop, so you learn how to make it, and then you can purchase the materials and make it at home. It's really a simple project that really has a lot of wow factor. Okay. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need one by six wood, and it comes in eight foot planks. One plank is going to make the whole box. Oh, that's it? That's it. And how much is one plank? It's under $10. Fabulous. So and they cut it here. or something. We can cut it here, or if you have a circular saw at home, you can cut it. What you're going to do is we have a cut list that you're going to cut your pieces to, or again, we can cut it for you. Three 27 inch pieces and two 7 inch pieces. That's okay. it. That's it. Everything right here is all right. you need. And the other materials that you're going to need is you're going to need some stain or paint. You're going to need some staining pads, and we're going to show you how to use it. Stain polyurethane, a sanding block, and then you are going to need uh, some hooks and some screws for the to hang your stockings. Okay. So what you're going to do is after you get your wood cut, it's going to be plain like this, and you're going to have some furred edges from the saw. So you just want to sand up the edges very simply and get the furring off. Okay. And just get so it. no splinters, no then splinters. Gets splinters, and it's nice. And I mean, if you want a rustic look, you could just do a very light sanding. But if you want a nice smooth look, you can keep going a little further. Then we're going to use our staining pads, and I like to use um, this is water-based stain, so it's easy cleanup. It's not as um, you know, if it gets on your clothes, it'll come out. If nice. it gets on your hands, it'll wash off easy. And these staining pads are awesome, and we've shown these before, but you know, know how much you I love, love them. Yep. It really makes staining easy. So you're just going to wipe it on like this. I mean, in seconds, you're going to have your whole thing. I want, I like to do the planks before I put it together with this project because it is kind of a, a rustic look, so it's not going to box together perfectly. So you want to make sure all your edges and everything is stained nice before you put it together. Okay. You're going to let this dry, and with this stain, you can get a nice coating in one coat or you can add as many as you want. So as quickly as you want to do it. And then look at all the different shades of staining. There that is pretty so awesome. so many shades available, and you can see um, all these shades. And this is with a top coat on it, a polyurethane, which will protect it for a long time. Okay. So coming up in the next segment, we're going to talk about how to put it together and accessorize it. I love it. Such a great idea and not a lot of money to get a big wow factor for the holidays. So we will check in with you guys at 915 here with Debbie at Home Depot to finish up the project. In the meantime, for more info, if you'd like to register for tomorrow night's workshop, again, it's at the nearest Home Depot by your house. Just go online and uh, you can register there. Guys? That finished product looks fantastic. I want one. It really one. does look great. Thanks, ladies.